In today's video, we'll continue with our learning of the topic ship stability and we will take up a question from uh, Captain Subramaniam's book and this is from Ship Stability 2 and uh, this is, will be a trim type A problem. If you have the book, you can refer to exercise 22, question number 17 and I will show you the solution here. If you don't have the book, then of course I have written the question here for you for your reference and then I'll show you the solution and how to approach similar questions if you face one in the exam. So the question says there's a ship that arrives port drawing 7 meter forward and 10 meter aft. These are the drafts 7 meter forward and 10 meter aft. The HF is 0. That would mean the distance from the midship to the center of flotation is 0. MCTC is 220, TPC is 25. The maximum permissible draft to cross a bar at the dock entrance is 9 meters. Due to a damaged forepeak, the draft forward is not to exceed 7 meters. So the current draft is 7 meters forward and the draft forward cannot exceed 7 meters. All right, It can be less than that but it can't be more than that. Find the minimum amount of cargo to discharge into barges from number 2 twin deck HG 30 meters forward. What is HG? HG is the longitudinal center of the gravity of cargo from the midship. Midship is denoted by the letter H. And from number 4 twin deck HG 30 meters aft so that both the conditions are satisfied. What are the, both the conditions? Both the conditions are that the maximum draft should not be more than 9 meters that is the maximum draft and that the forward draft should not exceed 7 meters these are the two conditions in case you were not clear should not exceed 7 meters all right so let's get started with the question so we have the drafts forward and aft as 7 meters and 10 meters so if you see the diagram here the letter h denotes the midship section of the vessel now of course we don't have the length of the vessel here but we know that the center of rotation coincides with the uh, midship because hf is zero as we can see hf is given as zero so f is the center of rotation that is the point about which the ship pivots or trims then we have the drafts forward and out given to us as 7 meters 10 meters mctc 220 and tpc is 25 we have summarized the information that is given to us we have also shown where the cargo has to be discharged from so number 2 twin deck and number 4 twin deck one is 50 meters aft the other one is 20 meters uh, forward or rather 30 meters forward sorry all right so based on the initial drafts what is our initial trim initial trim will be half draft minus the forward draft so 10 meters minus 7 meters is 3 meters and the draft is uh, the rather the trim is 3 meters by stern because the aft draft is more so if the aft draft is more than the forward draft, the trim is by stern. That's what we can see. And the current trim is 3 meters based on the initial drafts that are given to us. All right. Now the desired draft is 9 meters. And that is the maximum draft it can reach. Maximum draft can be 9 meters. It can't be more than that because that is how it says in the question. You can see that the maximum permissible draft to cross the bar at the dock entrance is 9 meters. But they are not saying where it has to be 9 meters. Is it forward or aft? So to do that, the next hint given to us is that forward draft cannot exceed 7 meters. So naturally the maximum draft cannot be in the forward side. Because the forward draft, the draft is 7 meters and now this can't be exceeded. It can be less but it can't be exceeded. It needs to be unchanged. Or it can be less rather. Alright. Or can be less. But because it's already 7 meters, um, it can't go more than that so therefore the required trim the required trim will be 9 meters which is the maximum draft minus the 7 meters which is the draft that cannot be exceeded draft cannot be exceeded right so therefore you need to require a trim of 2 meters by stern because if 9 meters is the maximum draft you can't have a 10 meter draft at the stern and if you can't cross 7 meters then of course that is what we have to keep in the forward at least. So we need to get a required trim of 2 meters by stern to cross the bar. Currently it is 3 meters by stern. 
so what is the change in the half draft required that is one meters by head so currently we had a three meters draft trim right we had a three meters trim this was three meters trim three meters and this was by stern and now you need two meters by stern two meters by stern that is the required trim right so if three meters from three meters stern to two meters stern what do you have to do you have to basically bring the stern of the vessel out so you have to bring the stern of the vessel out that means you need to change the aft draft you can't change the forward draft you can't make it deeper you have to change the aft draft but at the same time make sure that the forward part of the vessel does not exceed seven meters it has to be always seven meters so change in the aft draft required would be 10 meters minus nine meters which is the maximum draft allowed so it will be one meters by head now based on the current in a current drafts that is 10 meters and 7 meters what is the correction to the aft draft now if i can calculate the hydrostatic draft and uh, this 9 meters is not defined whether it is uh, it you know 9 meters is the maximum draft so when i say 9 meters is the maximum draft we mean the hydrostatic draft so current what is the current hydrostatic draft so we can find that out by finding the correction to the aft draft so correction to the aft draft is calculated by the formula trim multiplied by lcf divided by lbp where lcf is the longitudinal distance of the center of flotation from the aft perpendicular and lbp stands for length between perpendicular though although i don't know the length of the vessel i know that the lcf is located exactly half of the lbp exactly half of lbp because it is located in the midship correct so therefore trim can be three meters which is given to us multiplied by instead of lcf i write it as half of lbp divided by lbp so lbp lbp cancel out half of three is 1.5 meters now this is the correction to be applied to the aft draft to get the current or the initial hydrostatic draft so the current hydro aft draft is 10 meters minus half uh, correction is 1.5 so the hydrostatic draft that we are starting out with is 8.5 meters but the maximum hydrostatic draft maximum hydrostatic draft can be only nine meters so we have to make sure we rise the vessel so if it is uh, or rather we sink the vessel not rise the vessel but sink the vessel uh, so we have a 8.5 and we have nine meters that we can reach so nine minus 8.5 is 0 0.50 meters so therefore we have to if we have to discharge the cargo to make one part of the vessel rise that will be the stern of the vessel to rise we can find that out that overall we have to rise the vessel by 0.1 0 0.50 meters multiplied by 100 which converts it into centimeters multiplied by tpc so what is tpc tpc is tons per centimeter immersion so that means if we have to make the vessel rise or sink by one centimeter tpc is 25 tons so therefore if we have to make the vessel rise by 0.5 meter so we have to discharge a cargo so then we have to convert 0 0.50 into centimeters so 0 0.50 by 100 makes it centimeters and then multiplied by tpc to give us an idea of the total cargo that we have to require to be discharged all right so then we go back here so we know 1250 tons is the cargo to be discharged so let's say that cargo to be discharged from the forward part is x and from the aft part is 1250 minus x now you will know that no matter what happens you have to discharge more cargo from aft because you have to make the aft of the vessel rise but you also have to make sure that the forward part of the vessel does not dip it does not go down because you can't exceed the current draft of seven meters so you have to discharge some cargo from the forward as well to make sure that the forward part of the vessel the draft forward does not exceed seven meters but definitely you have to discharge more cargo from aft because you have to make the vessel rise from the aft more so let cargo to discharge from forward is x and cargo to discharge from aft is 1250 minus x so we have the cargo here we have the distance of from center of rotation and then we can find out the trimming moment so if i discharge x cargo from 30 meters so 30 meters is because it's forward number two to index right so the trimming moment will be by stern right so as the cargo discharges 
from the forward part trim moment will be by stern the vessel will trim by stern okay and if i discharge 1250 so this gives us 30x and if i discharge 1250 minus x from 50 meters which is aft of the center of rotation the trimming moment will be by head because when i discharge cargo from the stern the vessel trims by head so that will give me 62500 minus 50x so multiply 1250 by 50 and multiply x by 50 you will get 62500 minus 50x so the resultant trimming moment tm stands for trimming moment the resultant trimming moment will be equal to 62500 minus 50x minus 30x because one is a trimming moment by head the other one is by stern if both of them would have been by head or both of them would have been by stern then you would have added the two values here you will subtract the two values to get the resultant so you get 62500 minus 80x all right because minus 50x minus 30x you can add them up together both have a negative so you can add them up but also you have to remember that the trimming change required is one meter so from 10 meters by stern you have to create a trimming moment to nine meters by stern so that is so actually if you think about it this uh, this should be tc and not trim change required so this should be tree not TC, ta but tc all right so trim in change required is one meter by head so why this cannot be ta because although we are only focusing on changing the aft draft from 10 meters to 9 meters 9 meters is actually the hydrostatic draft it's not the aft draft so nowhere they say that you have to keep the forward draft same they are saying you cannot exceed the forward draft by 7 meters so you can make it less also they are not saying the maximum permissible draft is 9 meters so it has to be a aft draft they are not saying that they are saying the maximum permissible draft that would mean the hydrostatic draft has to be 9 meters so you cannot focus only on this turn and say i will make the vessel rise by stern that would also mean the vessel will go down by head which you cannot afford to do because you can't exceed the forward draft so that's why the trim change required is one meter from 10 meters stern to nine meters by stern so this is trim change requires one meter by head so mctc's moment to change trim by one centimeter so if we have to change it by one meter one meter is nothing but one by hundred centimeters correct so to change it by hundred centimeters you will multiply the trim trim change required multiplied by mctc which is 220 so you have to uh, get the trimming moment is 220 or uh, 222,000 is the trimming moment so now equating equation 1 and equating equation 2 we get this equation here 22,000 equals both are trimming moments right so this is a total trimming moment this is trimming moment calculated with respect to the individual cargo discharge so then all you have to do is basically take this here and calculate x so you will get x as 506.25 which should be from forward number 2 twin deck and then 743.75 will be 1250 minus x so this is 1250 minus x this is the cargo to be discharged from after that is number 4 twin deck now in case you had reversed the x and the 1250 minus x so if you have taken x uh, aft and you had taken 1250 x 1250 minus x forward then uh, you will automatically know you have done something wrong because you always have to remember that more cargo has to be discharged from aft more cargo needs to be discharged from aft than forward so you have to remember that so in case you got more cargo to be discharged from forward that would not make sense because that would increase the stern draft it would go more than 10 meters and you can't afford that because you have to keep the maximum draft as 9 meters so that's how you can do a cross check you can just correct yourself if you do something differently compared to what i have done all right so if there is some part of the question you didn't understand please feel free to ask me uh, write it in the comment section i look forward to your feedback guys um, because sometimes when you have been teaching a subject for too long you assume that students are understanding a lot of the basic stuff which you may not be uh, then a i want you guys to be able to understand everything so that you can pass your exams well Good luck with your studies guys and please reach out if you